Good afternoon, folks. Let's dive a bit deeper into this morning's top story, the slowdown of Earth's core rotation. This topic is already complex, and it was the subject of the worst science reporting of the last 50 years, so here's the backstory. Evidence suggested that a burst of super rotation, a speed up of the core's rotation, happened in the first years of the millennium, leading to the core rotating faster than the mantle and crust. This is after it had actually been sub-rotating in the early 70s, going slower than the mantle and the crust, followed by the super-rotation at the end of the 70s. It appears this situation changes rapidly and is very complex. They figured out that this back and forth happens approximately every six or seven years, which is the same cycle as geomagnetic jerks and the accelerations of the magnetic pole shift. Last year, things went a bit screwy in understanding. A very poorly worded article on the latest data caused people to mistakenly think the core had either stopped rotating or started spinning the opposite way. And no, that's not even close to what the paper actually said, not even close to anything that is possible. The poorly worded article notwithstanding, the data showed that we had taken the latest slowdown, a sub-rotation period. The correction you see listed at the bottom of the screenshot was there changing some wording to stop people from making that mistake to stop them from thinking that the core had stopped entirely, as that is not what they actually meant. What we have here today is the confirmation of that slowdown, the sub-rotation. While this is indeed expected and not scary, it confirms that same cycle is still in play and active, the one that seems to line up with the accelerations of the ongoing geomagnetic excursion, the magnetic pole shift. Yes, it is complicated, but again, it is a cycle of speed changes, minute ones, from sub-rotation to super-rotation, and it is very slight. The vastly more important takeaway is the geomagnetic jerk cycle associated with it and the ongoing magnetic pole shift impact from that cycle. I'll see you in the morning for The Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.